It's time! Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a match. Just so wise. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. Let's do it. Well, every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I will always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 Championship Triple Header. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bismarck St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Young Jacek. And we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us. We looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no ah. evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Fighter connects there. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. <laughs> that kick blocked by Lee. Back and forth we go. His misses are entertaining. Let's go. Get on. Oh, and he tags. 
strikes him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, doing a great job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, he has done a masterful job using his opponent's aggressiveness and offense against him here tonight. Just look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. The counter striking has been the big story of this fight. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, nice right hand count. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, nice job getting the guard up to block that one. Just a slip there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by Lee. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Nice punch to the head. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Lee. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Clean punch right there. Oh, back and forth. Oh. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Great block there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the match. to the headlands, flushed there by Lee. Final seconds here of round one. He looks like Pac-Man, he's taking so many strikes to the head. Oh, oh. Round two is next. All right, let's go, take a seat here. All right, I need you to slow down and relax. I need you to calm that mind, okay? Let's get this stand up under control. Everything you're doing, you're forcing a little all right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway, and his counter-striking is so good that it gives his opponent pause in terms of getting his own offense going because as soon as he strikes, he's getting a mouthful of teeth. Yes, he is a fantastic counter-striker. John, he has an ability to see what you're doing and counter it before you even understand what's going. It's in the eyes. It's in the eyes. Watch him. He is watching and processing what's about to happen and countering the moment his opponent tries to attack. Low kick is there. 
This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the double. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Counter punch landed there by Lee. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right on the button. Beautiful work on the feet tonight by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. All right, keep pushing forward. Let's go. Fighter blocks a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Counter punch is good by Lee. Well, he blocks the shot there. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots. Oh! Lands that beautiful jab. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. That one connected. 30 seconds to go in round two. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Final seconds here. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Try to establish that jab. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. <laughs> Big shot to the body. Hands higher, hands higher. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. No! Oh, my God. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Slips. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and you heard him again. Oh, oh! Oh, yes, now we're going. Straight right, he misses. Back and forth we go. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. The guard now stacked guard. Oh, nice elbow. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but. At this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish with you think it's right there. But at times, you just overswing, and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, big punch land. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side. Another one! You gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, 
Uh, All right, that's three rounds uh. in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Let's get this fight. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes. Oh! Oh, big elbow. Oh, a big left hand. And a knee. Oh, body shot. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he is clearly... Oh, he can't even stand. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. Oh! That'll do it! Oh. Holy smokes! With a massive highlight at the Garden! Oh, Lee! Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer.